Cuisine Royale. Uh, it's probably one of the best games that you have never heard of. I mean, you probably have. It's been out since the 15th of June, 2018. This game was actually made as an April Fool's joke, and that's probably pretty obvious from how many pots and pans that I have, not only on my asshole, but on my shoulders, my chest, head, and everything. The publishers of the game, Gaijin Entertainment, actually wanted it to be some sort of joke as a game. Despite the amount of obvious bullshit equipment in the game, it's so much fun, and you can obviously see that through the community bringing it together uh, and actually making it as popular as it is. Unlike some of the other battle royales that you see, like Fortnite or anything like that, the game is actually really balanced, except for the melee weapons, which anything above the starting knife that you have is an instant one hit. There's a lot of diversity when it comes to the guns in Cuisine Royale. There's sniper rifles, assault rifles, shotguns, and the amount of selection you can have between those classes is, like, insane. Although some guns do more damage than others, it's really just about your preference. If you want to use a sniper rifle or an assault rifle, depending on how good you are with that gun, anything could happen. The game has so many cool gadgets, abilities, even the characters themselves have their own like little abilities. Although you might think that adding abilities to the characters in the game is way too overpowered, every single strength that comes with these abilities comes with even more weaknesses. The beast ability, although it increases your physical strength and speed, you drop every single gun you have and you're not allowed to use them until your beast mode is over, so it leaves you really vulnerable because you can't do anything long range, you have to run directly at your target. One of the characters literally spawns in Thor and it is the coolest thing you will ever see. You have players that can dash, stop time, the amount of stuff you can do in this game is immense. It feels good to actually be able to play a good, fair battle royale for once. It's not that I'm saying all the other games are bad, it's just they're all the exact same recycled stuff. You drop in from a plane, pick up some supplies, and try to win the game. You do this in every single battle royale, every single game, in every single game mode. The amount of stuff you can do in Cuisine Royale that is so much different from the basic norm you see in battle royales is really fun to see. You literally have boots that can make you jump higher than like a two-story building. You don't even jump in from a plane, the game will just spawn you in a random location throughout the map. Sure, Cuisine Royale might have the same ideals as another game like Fortnite, but each game you play is going to be so much different than the last one. Depending on the abilities you have, the gadgets that you pick up, the game can go so many different ways. Although the game is so much fun, it even has its own serious side, having things like ranks and even leaderboards. There are temples to explore, rivers to swim in, and even mountains to climb. Playing this game was probably the most fun I've had in a very long time. I highly suggest that you go and cop this game right now. It is a free-to-play game, although it does have in-game purchases, you don't even have to buy those. Taking into consideration how good this game actually is, getting it for free is one of the best deals you will ever get. Just a quick disclaimer before the video ends, I am not sponsored by Cuisine Royale in any way, shape or form. But I am still a firm believer that you should definitely 100% go and buy this game. I think this is going to be a new series that I'm going to start on the channel about reviewing games, maybe new ones that come out, maybe old ones that you should go and play, so please make sure you leave some comments down below if you maybe want to see another one of these videos, leave some suggestions about what game I could do a review on. I thought I'd try something new on the channel, so please tell me down in the comments section if I should continue with the series, see if I can do anything else with it. Thank you all so much for watching this video, I really hope you all enjoyed it. Please, if you did, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this shithole of a channel. Make sure you go check out some of my other videos, it would really mean a lot. Again, thank you all so much for watching, I really hope you all enjoyed it. And yeah, I guess I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.